getting ready to change out this temperature door actuator on this 2011 GMC Acadia. There's the new part number 1592-0864, short number 15-72. 666 oh no say it ain't so but oh well i guess that's probably why i already dropped one screw and have to go fishing for it there's not quite enough room to get up in there and show how to do everything see it mounts up there in that hole three screws that hold it on i believe they're t20s it's kind of hard to get everything up in here let me see if i can do it though but you can see the actuator there and you have three T20 bits or screw heads up here that have to be taken out and I used a, a ratchet and wrench to do it but you got one two three and then the one harness connector and of course that's the new one up in there but you can see how up in this hole you can put a quarter in that slot, those two slots, and use it as a lever to turn that back and forth. I'm not going to do it with this new one. But you can see with the old one, you can get it down in here, line it up with the slot, and turn this thing back and forth. And if it's stuck on heat, you just turn it the other direction. A lot of times they'll, they'll try and you can see them jumping and moving. And you just put the key, in, the quarter in there and turn it in the direction that it's trying to move. When you've commanded it from the control head. But on this one it wouldn't do anything because something stripped out bad. And I just took the quarter, stuck it in there and went from full heat to full cold. Might keep you from running hot one day. Just a simple quarter. Fixing to erase codes. And now we're going to go into special functions and actuator recalibration. Okay. And we're going to hit calibrate. And now to go through and cycle all the different actuators and isn't that nice? You can hear one clicking on the other side. That's probably the fresh air door. That's sad because this thing may not calibrate all the way because of that. It can't get past that one spot. says it completed so hopefully it did now I'm going to go back and check for trouble codes read it's probably going to come back with one for the no nope, no fault codes that's strange let's go into live data and HVAC door positions And we're going to compare the commanded with the actual air inlet. Actual looks okay. Auxiliary mode door looks kind of okay. Auxiliary temp door looks okay. Left temperature is fine. Mode is fine. Right temperature looks good. So even though it was clicking, it wind up getting where it's supposed to be. I have to play with it and see which button causes it to move. I'm going to hit the, let's see, I can't see the, what the buttons are because they're all wore off. I think this is recirculate, maybe not. That's the AC button. I guess that's to recirculate. I'm going to move this one over here and see if it goes to clicking. Oh. 
And I just heard it click when I moved that button off. That should be recirculate. And that should be fresh air. And you hear that click when I hit the button? So that recirculate is the one that's acting up. Yep. Oh, well, I'll have to sell them on putting one of them in if they want it. I think that one's kind of time consuming. You got to go way up in the dash and pull a bunch of crap out. Maybe wrong about that. I have to look it up. Sparky out.